We have similarities to that woodpecker. We don't uh, slam our head against the uh, trees like he does. But when it comes time to start new projects, we do have to hit our heads on the ground looking for locates and getting them verified and getting locators out here. That's what we're doing today. The uh, locates should be due on this project. They were due yesterday actually. And I just made a couple phone calls and USIC is gonna get back with me. The Olameter supposedly rescheduled. So, they should be getting back with me as well. We just gotta push on it. We gotta be like that woodpecker and be persistent. Find those bugs. Find those locates. We're just getting started here. Oh! It looks like they've been, they've done some work on this not too long ago because of this patch that's... Also, there's another place where it enters the ground over there. We might be able to... If this doesn't work, you know? See if you can get something there. Uh, there goes Wes. He's going to see if he can verify this gas line. Seems like a good signal. Look okay, at we got some marks in. Wesley and Dana are putting in a shot and uh, we're walking the next one for tomorrow. I think we have one pothole that has a couple utilities down there and then the rest of this is pretty clear until we get to chambers. So we got a gas line and a comm lines right there. But that's not a big deal because we can run right here along this fence. But once we get up here, this is where the real show starts. Look at all that. Holy Toledo. We have to uh, drill from where Dane's drilling this way, cross the street, and go down the uh, street on the other side. And it doesn't get much better over there. There's a ton of calm, so I've got to figure out a game plan for this one.
Well, I can't see them, but Wesley's down there locating. They're drilling down along this fence here. While they're doing that, I'm gonna put all some utilities right here. There's a bunch of power and calm and stuff and gas. So that's what I'm gonna be doing while they're drilling. in the road today we have a standby <clears throat> I don't know if you can see the pink marks those marks indicate a high-pressure 20 inch gas line and uh, we also have a locator gonna come refresh the actual marks on there this morning because the roads so busy over here that the marks don't last that long so that's happening we're gonna get this found and hopefully potholed across the street today. That's the plan. We found our high pressure lines, our high pressure gas lines have been found and now we're verifying and pinpointing some CenturyLink. Uh, pop this manhole open and we're verifying it. We'll close this up. It's the end of the day. We're about to go home. We got all our high pressure gas lines found. I'm unloading an excavator so we can do some digging tomorrow. Dane and Wesley are doing a little trenching over there. But in about 10 or 15 minutes, we're gonna be out of here. Tomorrow we drill as long as we find a water line, a gas line, and some calm. Everything else should be good to go. This is what I'm doing now. I'm unhooking this. See you tomorrow. for the past two days to get to this point and uh, I know you can see there's a lot of rot out on the ground right here that's because we had to use the ground to level off a little bit so we could actually get a depth to cross this high pressure gas line otherwise we wouldn't do it this way but that's the only way it seems to be working at the moment we're gonna get across the street one way or another extension that we use when we come into a hole that's 
not reachable. Our head is down there and we'll use this to extend and hook on our clevis and swivel. This is your bolt that goes in your clevis that attaches to the swivel. Down there, pretty good. So you thread this in. You thread this in part way. And this is the uh, swivel. This is the clevis that hooks onto the head, and to get this down to where you can hook on you thread it like barely on here put it down in the hole and then you rest this on the uh, bit unthread it a little bit pull it up and slide it onto the bit where there is a hole slide your bolt through the hole on the bit and then you re uh, tighten the threads you re thread it there. Six. That's good. Okay. Back a little bit. Can you go backwards just a little bit? A little more. That's that's, good, that's good right there. Stop. Gotta clear the hole in the bit here. I think I can get it on. a little bit ah! I need it down a little bit down Aha. Seems to be threading here. There it goes. Uh, uh, I got it. Okay. We gotta hook on our locate really quick. It's really hard to show you guys. But uh, there it is, hooked on. It's really hard to show you. Now we gotta pull it back. Oh.
We drilled across Chambers Road yesterday, and today we are intercepting a duct going from where the boys are working over here all the way to this box right here. The reason that we're doing that is so we don't have to drill in this area because there's so much stuff and they had an empty conduit. So we're going to intercept and sweep everything up into a box. extension on. Alright, we're on. Look at this. We got all our pipes up in the hole. Give it the beat. 